Hello beautiful people. Hope so as you all having an amazing day because I am having an amazing day. So today we are going to cover the second part of introduction to functions. <clears throat> In user defined functions, the function is consist of three parts. The first one is prototype. The second one is function call and the third one is function definition. So let's move towards our first part. Prototype is like a function heading uh, terminated by a semicolon without the body of the function. Uh, in reality, C++ programmers uh, customarily place the function main before all the user-defined functions. However, this organization could produce a compilation error because functions are compiled in the order in which they appear in the program. For example, if the function main is uh, placed before the function larger, uh, the larger is an identifier, don't forget. Uh, when the function main is compiled to work around uh, this problem of uh, undeclared identifier, V place prototype before any of the function definition and even the function main to uh, combat with this problem. Uh, so the function can recognize this function. Uh, it's, it's actually a, like a promise. Fun prototype is like a promise to the function then we will uh, define this function later in the program uh, the function prototype is not a definition actually it gives the program the name of the function the number and data types of the parameters and data types of the returned value just enough information to let c++ program use the function um, if even uh, further after writing prototype we don't even define the uh, function further then uh, the program will run but it will not uh, execute the particular program okay so let's move towards the general form of the prototype uh, prototype consists of the function type we can also call it uh, function type as return type because uh, it means that uh, uh, what uh, value uh, uh, function will return okay so it determines the data type or function type, return type, whatever you can call. Uh, here is the identifier like we used larger in our previous program and the parameters parameter list. Uh, mostly formal parameters are present here. Uh, we, the parameter present in the prototype uh, are formal parameters. So here is the practical example of the prototype. Uh, double is the data type, uh, return type you can say, and larger is an identifier and Heard the uh, data type of integer, which uh, which are here x and y. Uh, as when writing the function prototype, you do not uh, have to specify the variable name in the parameter list. However, you must specify the data type of uh, each parameter. So you can say that we removed in the second line we removed x and y because we do not need uh, these variable name in the formal parameter in prototype. Uh, however, uh, I told you in the first part of introduction to function that uh, uh, some function return value, we call them value returning function. However, some uh, functions do not return any value. They do not have return type. So, and means you can say that they don't have any parameters. So, we just write void keyword and with no parameters. Okay. So, in this case, you will write this way. Next come is actually determining that. Uh, you can also use uh, different data types in the same function parameter list. So, hope so. It's clear. Uh, we should now move towards our the second part of function, which we call function call. Here is the general form of the function call. In the function ca uh, call, unlike prototype, uh, we, uh, we write only function name. Uh, we, uh, we don't need return type here. However, the parameters present in the function call uh, are actual parameters. However, the parameters present in the function definition and function uh, uh, prototype the, uh, are formal parameters. Uh, here is the practical example. You can see there are three examples here. Larger is an identifier. However, is the we can also pass it uh, the function by values or by using variables uh, like this. We are using float 
uh, uh, yeah. It contains actually flow data type 23.30 uh, however 98 uh, uses int and uh, these are two further example you can saw it so up to now we learned per type and function called uh, okay if the formal parameter uh, list of uh, value turning function is empty the actual parameter uh, is also empty in a function call uh, but still parentheses uh, are still needed uh, so in this case you can write the function uh, call as follows you can see it's a very sorry you can write the function call as follows it will be standalone however in function call the number of actual parameters together with their data types must match with the formal parameters in the order given that is the actual and formal parameter have one-to-one -one correspondence so here we go uh, the next column is the last part is our return statement in which we write return which is a, a keyword and the expression after this like this you can see this I'm writing here the return uh, index return statement index it would be XPR it could be anything okay ESPR you can write anything here so here we go uh, up till now we learned prototype and uh, function call so if we get uh, prototype something like this mean integer identify larger int and float then our function call would be would look something like this uh, we can also use values and the variables here like I'm using here uh, if you want to in case you want to uh, store the value uh, which came in function call in the any third variable you can make something like this and the terminator which is a semicolon and if you want to show values then you will go in this way it will simply show the value there we go so hope so it clears uh, if you have any suggestion and if you have any query do write in comment section uh, because I try to be very communicative in the comment section okay if you like my channel don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos don't forget to download uh, the C++ programming quiz app and uh, core Java quiz app for your knowledge testing. Uh, like always, thanks for watching. Peace.